Welcome, welcome, welcome. This week we are making mashed potatoes. So let's go. Mashed potatoes, I know what you're thinking. God damn, they are super simple to make. And yes, you would be extremely correct on that one. We are talking about making like elevated mashed potatoes. You know the kind you get when you go to a restaurant and they're just rich, buttery, creamy, and they feel like they're gonna give you a heart attack? That's the kind we're gonna to cover today. It is super simple to make. You know, the equipment you need is very minimal and, and the end result is just incredible. So let's get straight into this recipe. Let's get these mashed taters started. So to kick things off, you want to peel 2.5 kilos of Maris Piper potatoes, specifically Maris Piper. As you're peeling them, chuck them into a dish filled with some cold water. After you've peeled all of them, be sure to wash them and rinse them under some fresh cold water. This just washes off the excess starch. This is a very important step. Too much starch is basically going to make your mashed potatoes kind of gluey. Take your washed potatoes and cut them into golf ball sized chunks and then you want to chuck them into a nice big pan ready for cooking. Top them brothers up with some cold water. You better make sure that's cold water. It's very important. You need cold water for potatoes. Use cold water please. Throw your pan onto a high heat and then add in two healthy pinches of salt. You want to make sure the water is nice and salty. You're going to bring this up to a boil and just cook these out until they are fully cooked. In the meantime, we are going to make the cream and butter mix. So it's very simple. 300 milliliters of double cream, 125 grams of unsalted butter or olive oil, one bulb of garlic, 10 grams of fresh thyme, 10 grams of fresh rosemary into a pan and then put this onto a low heat and you're just going to cook this until it comes to a simmer and then just let that slowly cook out for about five minutes, take it off the heat and leave the herbs in to infuse into that cream mix. So your cream infusion is done, your potato should be near done and the way you want to test this is just poke a knife in and if they are coming out without any resistance and the potato feels completely cooked, you are ready. Strain them bad boys off and then we can get to mashing. Okay, I lied a little bit, we're not going to mash the potatoes straight away. We need to let these sit and steam maybe for five to 10 minutes, just so they dry out a little bit and the moisture kind of draws out of the potatoes. That way it's gonna take on the flavor of the cream that we're gonna add later. So while your tatters are steam drying, you just want to strain off the cream and butter mix. You want to get the thyme and garlic out of there and just make sure you get all of that cream and butter, you know, just smush it around a little bit in the sieve just so you get every last little drop of cream that's in there. Now it's time for mashing. So you just want to put your potatoes back into the pot you're using earlier, mash them up a bit, throw in your cream mix, start mashing that up until you have a rough kind of mash. Then the most tedious part of this whole process comes next. We're going to push this mashed potato through a sieve or a drum sieve. This is very simple, it just takes a long time. You literally spoon a mashed potato, push it through the sieve and then you're gonna get super silky smooth mashed potatoes coming out the other side of that thing. Trust me, it's a game changer and it's so worth doing. You're going to find this is a little bit of an arm workout. This is easier to do when the potatoes are nice and hot still, so don't let the potatoes cool down too much before you end up doing this, otherwise you are going to struggle. Just a little pro tip there for you. Okay, so to finish this, you want to take 300 grams of your mashed potatoes and reheat it with 50 milliliters of whole milk. This is just going to give it a really nice, smooth consistency and make it so the potato doesn't burn while you are reheating it. Season that to taste and then your mashed taters are ready to be served up. Chuck them in a bowl on the side of whatever you want, garnish it with a bit of green stuff if you're into that and enjoy your beautiful, silky smooth, creamy, buttery, rich mashed potatoes. It is that easy, guys. Boom. And there you have it, the ultimate, I was about to say mac and cheese. This is definitely mashed potato. The ultimate mashed potato. This thing is rich, it's tasty, it's delicious, it's smooth. This is basically, 
how we made it in the Michelin star restaurants. A couple of things I need to go over. The potato, if you want it as smooth as possible, you do need to push that through a drum sieve or a sieve. You can use a potato ricer to get a pretty smooth end result. I'll drop one in the description down below so you can check it out. But if you want the professional Michelin star kind of style pom puree potato, push it through a sieve and you'll thank me later. Let's get on to trying this because this is just going to be damn good. Look at that. Yes. God damn it, that brings back so many memories. The cream infused with the garlic, the thyme and the rosemary just brings a whole other element into the dish and it is goddamn delicious. The texture of this is silky smooth and delicious and mmm, look at that, yes. This is a mashed potato you make for, maybe you got an occasion, you're cooking for someone and you wanna go just that little bit extra that extra step to, to really wow some people this recipe makes quite a lot so um it, it's perfect to make it the start of the week and use throughout the week reheat um there isn't much you can say about this this is like the best mashed potato i think you will ever have in your entire life i i i, I highly recommend you go and give this a go because you're not going to regret trying this it, it's on another level to any other mashed potato you're ever going to try and um that's kind of it for this week's episode if you've enjoyed uh if you've enjoyed this week's episode don't forget to drop a like let me know what else you want to learn how to make in the comments subscribe if you're enjoying the content and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for tuning in Bye -bye.